Welcome back to PSIS Tech Byte. Today, I want to talk with you about the to-do APIs that Microsoft introduced under the beta endpoint of the Microsoft Graph. Using these APIs, we can easily access the list of task lists, the tasks in a task list, and the linked resources for a specific task. For all of these entities, we can have create, read, update, and delete operations, as well as we have a get delta changes for the tasks. Moreover, and from a developer point of view, we can extend both the task list and the task with the open extensions of Microsoft Graph. So it is really powerful for developing custom solutions. Like always, let me move to the demo environment and let me show you how to play with these APIs in practice. So let's start from the official documentation of uh, the to-do API, which you can find under the Microsoft Graph uh, documentation in the beta section in the to-do tasks preview uh, topic uh, in the list of topics right here. And in there, you will find all of the documentation to play with the to-dos APIs. So let me do that for you. And in the Graph Explorer, let me switch to the beta endpoint. And let me ask to access the to-do endpoint and to get the lists of lists of tasks that I have there. I make a get request and I will get back a collection of objects, including a bunch of lists of tasks. If I switch to my Microsoft to-do, we can see that I have a pre-assist tech byte demo list which I already created, but actually you can create it using the Microsoft Graph as well. And I can search for this one in the list of results that I've just got. So let me see where it is. And most likely here it will be. So here it is, PSC Stack Byte Demo. So let me get the ID of this item, of this list of tasks. And let me apply the ID right after the lists endpoint. And so I will be able to say, give me the tasks in this list of tasks. And we can see that right now it is an empty list. Well, we can easily add a new task. And let me put this screen just beside the uh, to-do app UI. So I can simply make a post request to the target URL that we just saw, so the collection of tasks in the list. And I will have to provide as a JSON object a task body in the body of the request. So I will have at least a title. I can provide a linked resource for my item, my task item, which would be just a reference to my website. And I can execute this request targeting the beta endpoint of the graph. And you will see that quickly I will have a new task here. And right here it is, the demo tasks. So it has been created. Now I can get it back. In fact, in the response, I have the ID of the task, which I can use if I want to go straight to this task. So let me do that. I have the collection of tasks. Let me append to the URL the unique ID of the task that got created. And of course, I will have to make a get request to get that task. And I will get back the JSON representation of my task with all of its information and uh, resources. Now, let's say that I want to change the status of this task. For example, I want to declare that my task is now in progress because I'm working on it. So I can provide a JSON object in the body of my request. I can make a patch HTTP request targeting that specific endpoint, that specific task, and I can run my query. By doing that, my task will be now in progress and I can uh, notify people that I'm working on it. But I can also mark the task as completed if I like. So let me do that, completed, run query again, and patch in the object. And as you can see now, my task is completing in the UI of the uh, to-do app. So really useful and easy to do. Keep into account that you can play with your own uh, tasks in to-do, but if you have proper permission, you can also replace the me with the um, user principal name of a target user for which you have access to the uh, tasks in the to-do application. So this is a really powerful API that you can leverage to automate the creation and the management of tasks in to-do. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and useful, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.